So we go to Amadu Belawore. The fourth Sunday. Sunday a koko. In the month of February. Lord, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. Over me and my family. I appreciate him. I appreciate God. I appreciate God. I appreciate God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name. Make this confession. Say, Lord, this month, this week, I refuse to cry. I refuse to lament. Open your mouth and prophesy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving. Month of February, God will say, Hey, met your your God will answer you. Along your da alone, God will answer you. Along your da alone, God will bless you. Along your book for your testimony will not delay. Every record need that to do. God will make things happen for you. Along your Jackie will go and share for your expectation shall never be cut. Don't don't let it go need that. The Lord will surprise you. Along your yaw lenu, the Lord will make you happy. Along your Jackie, no red, Jesus, my dear, look on like Jesus. Jam your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. You sit like a king. Sit like a coin. Beloved, this is 2024. 2024. I thought you appreciate Jesus. Because of time. I want you to turn to the book of Psalm 51. Psalm 51. Psalm 51. Silence. Shall we rise? Yes, yes, yes. We are going to shout 21 powerful hallelujah. Eh, okay, hallelujah. My God, my God.
Thank you, Jesus. Clap for Jesus. You are going to shout 21 powerful hallelujah. Want to go. Hallelujah. 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 Jam your hands together for the Holy Spirit. I pray for everybody. Yeah. The 21, hallelujah, you've shouted. Shall bring unto you testimony this week. Congratulations. Beloved, because of time, I believe you are all familiar with the book of Psalm 51. Psalm Psalm 51. Media kindly project it. I will read it fast. I will read it fast. Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Wash me truly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression and my sins already before me. Against you only have I seen and done this evil in your sight. That you may be found just when you speak and bless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the evil path, and the hidden path you make me to know wisdom. Purge me with eyes soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. And uphold me by your generous spirit. Sorry. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will take some against your ways. And sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the gifts of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not deserve sacrifice, or else I will give it. You do not delight in burnt offering the sacrifices of God and a broken spirit, a broken and a contract act. This, O oh God, you will not disperse. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Be with the ones of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness. With burnt offering and no burnt offering. Then they shall offer booze on your altar. Praise the Lord. Beloved, this Olufe. psalm is all about the sin. Repentance, sorry, confession and repentance of David. About the sin. Confession. And repentance. Beloved. David acknowledged the fact that he was a sinner. David he didn't shy away from it. He didn't hide. Remember the Bible says, whoever covereth his sin shall not prosper. Beloved, I've said this time without number. No sin is permitted to put anybody in bondage. Except you allow it. And how do I mean? You've committed sin. Upon the commitment of that sin, you thought no one sees you. But what about God? You will remain in the bondage of that sin. That wasn't the experience of, that wasn't the case of David. David understands spiritual things. Not like many of us. We commit sin and we believe because no one sees us. Truly no one sees us. But of a true God sees us. And that is foolishness and stupidity of highest order. Because there is no point you putting yourself in bondage when you have an opportunity for you to 
confess and repent. How am I so sure? Jesus Christ paid the price. Maybe I should shock you. Before anyone commit any sin, Jesus Christ has paid the price already. And that happened over 2,000 years ago. So no sin is permitted to destroy anybody. Except the person allow it. And this was the wisdom that David applied. David said in Psalm 51 verse 3. He said, For I acknowledge my transgression. And my sins always before me. Verse 4. David said, Against you. You only have I sent and draw this evil in your side. From this test, permit me to bring to this topic out. The topic for today's sermon says, Make wrong right. Make wrong right. Make wrong right. She atushe omuti kodara. Omuti kodara she kodara. Make wrong right. Omuti odara she kodara. Be like David. Je David David David. David acknowledged the fact that he was a chronic sinner. David ba wi pele she ni ohun. There is no man of God without sin. Ko si ni ose lorun ti o kin de she. There is no man be without sin. Ko si ni o ti o kin de she. Not even the apostle of old. No wonder Paul said, Jesus, Jesus God, deliver me. This thing I hate doing, I find myself doing it. No pastor have the inventory to condemn anybody. If you see any pastor doing that, it's a fake one. Validation is of God. Not even any reverend father. No man of God. The only person that can help you is yourself. Be like David. David said, Lord, Oluwa, I acknowledge my transgressions. And my sins always before me. David with his mouth made his wrong right. This is another new year 2024. The Lord is speaking to you. Make wrong right. Are you a business person? Make wrong right. Are you a career person? Are you a married man? Married woman? Maybe you are a minister of the gospel. You know yourself. You can only speak for yourself. Why I can only speak for myself? For affliction not to rise the second time. Why not make wrong right now? Many of us, when we come to procrastination, we are generous. We are generous. Many of us, when it comes to laziness, we are generous. That Lord is talking to you. Make wrong right. You know yourself. No one sees you. You see yourself. Satan sees you. And God sees you. Make wrong right. Wrong remains wrong until it is corrected. This has been the reason why many people have remained on the same spot. If you like, climb all the mountains in this world. If you like, know all the prophets in this world. Nothing will happen. Because it is the anointing within you that we activate the anointing upon you. 
make wrong right. Stop fooling yourself. Personally, as a woman, it doesn't matter how you misbehave. Immediately you come to me and you tell me the truth. Immediately I forgive you. Because if I fail to forgive you, God will forgive you. you. That was my stress. If you are liable for punishment, you go for the punishment. But unfortunately, many of us we are too big for correction. And this has been the reason why many people are not receiving help. This has been the reason why many people have remained on the same spot. Many children of God are full of ego. Pride and arrogance. The Lord is talking to you. Make wrong right. I've been in ministry for almost 35 years. The church is more than 20 years now. And from my experience as a man of God, I've seen people who have become the architect of their own problem. And yet, they are not ready for correction. Let me shock you. There is nothing God can do. There is nothing any man of God can do. Until you make your wrong right. It lies in your willpower. No wonder the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set to you. As a student, it's your responsibility to read towards the fourth coming exam. Unfortunately, you didn't read. You are just into and fro. Exam now comes. You now come to Papa to pour on your head. You will fail. In fact, your failure is imported one. God is not a magician. God is a miracle worker. Like the ongoing 40 days and nights, I'm not going to lamp. People are very close, we can testify. I settled everything in December last year. As in seeking confirmation from God. The mountain I need to climb, I've climbed it. Prayer I need to pray, I've prayed. It. Maybe I should shock you. During one of my visitations to one prayer mountain, I remember the Holy Spirit spoke to me concerning certain things. And the 40 days was barely seven days when Satan struck. But I didn't discuss with anybody because the Lord has revealed it. And I've done the necessary things. People of God, what you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> And until you know it, nothing will change. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Make wrong right. If you can make wrong right, the right blessing will come. That's why you have to be very careful. Don't make any man of God your God. There is no man of God without sin. There is no man of God that does not poop. There is no man of God that does not wee. And I've said this severally. If your man of God is not the man of God that said the truth, you are in serious danger. Because what many people need it's not the way a pastor. What some people need is just someone that will be telling them the truth. Because truth is bitter. And this is the reason why you see many pastors as of today becoming liars. Beloved, make wrong right. Make wrong right. You are a wife. 
Your mouth is equivalent to razor blade. You keep receiving that slap. Say that is laughing, but you Yes, sir. Okay. I've shared the interpreter. <laughs> Amen. I'm hearing that for the first time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, people of God, do not gloss over your wrongs or mistakes. Ma may not see you, but God sees you. Rather, be a man or woman enough. Be a man or woman enough. To, to face what you have done wrongly. And correct it. Very, very important. Very, very important. Beloved, for an example, you made a mistake. And your boss fired you. And you now say, hey, I'm even tired. I want to go. You now tender your letter of resignation. No. It's wrong. It's wrong. You don't release yourself. Any human being with his or right senses must wait for God to release him or her. Because whatever you sow is what you will reap. The Lord is speaking to you. Make wrong right. You know what you have been doing wrongly in your business, in your career, in that relationship, in that marriage. Make wrong right. Make wrong right. I think about two years ago, one of my sons in the house had me preach that I said, no matter how rich your wife is, don't collect money from your wife. Ah. And he said, he became, he was very bitter. He said, where is he now on his way home? He now thought of it. And he had a rethink. And he made up his mind. That from that day henceforth, whatever the wife demands, he will supply. And to his surprise, after about three months, God opened heaven for him. Listen to me, people of God. Be careful of spiritual things. It's not a sin for your wife to support you. But it will become a sin when you now see it as your wife's responsibility. This is one of the reasons why some men are struggling financially. Because you have transferred your leadership and headship you have transferred it to the wife. I emphasize voluntarily is not a sin if your wife chooses to because the Bible calls you the heir. I will never forget as a man of God there was one family I used to pray for as a man of God and one day the husband called me he said, Pastor, there is fire on the mountain. I said, with fire. He said, ah, my wife's salary. Times three is own salary. He said, that to me. I became angry. He said, what is this? You should be happy now. I said, no. 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 Women are not like that. Too. I was a pastor there with a prophetic grace. So on my, on my way home, I said to myself, this man is only being jealous of his wife. How your wife's salary times three your salary and you're not happy. Later on, Later on I learned my lesson. 
Because the wife was given an official vehicle. Tear rubber under. As of that time, the husband was using Omega, one big, long vehicle like this. Omega. And the husband, one Sunday afternoon, picked the wife official car and, and drove out. And the wife pick her phone. Yeah, what's it, moon? And call her. What's call him. What's it, babe? Ibolowa. Where are you? Ibolowa. Where are you? Over the phone, I'm a girlfriend. Don't know she. Want to the... use my car to go and carry all your girlfriends? And the wife called me. And I couldn't. You walk, babe, babe. The pastor. Only pastor. I told you. Most of you. Babe, babe, babe. Tell me, chef. If you should see the cost, my wife is going to be because I carried her car out. Do you love it? All of it. I now learned a bitter lesson. Oh, I quit. I quit. I quit. That woman, hear this. It's not a sin if God bless you. Strike the balance. Later on, when that incident occurred, and I call that man, that if you are ready, I am ready. That guy pushed me. And God help us. Before God and man, less than a year, God change the story of the husband. Learn a lesson as a man. Learn a lesson. If your wife is richer than you, it's an indication that you can become better than your wife. Because God made you the head. But unfortunately, most husbands we see it as a means of relaxation. Oh wrong. Oh wrong. Kudara. Make your wrong right now. I will never know this person I'm talking about. Make your wrong right now. Make your wrong right now. Make your wrong right now. What many people call comfort zone is a very dangerous zone. You know yourself. You are doing your own business. You have no boss. You are the boss of yourself. But your business lacks ethics. No principle. The Lord is speaking to you. Here you are in another new year. Make wrong right. You are a man. You hardly sit down at home with your wife and children. I must confess to you. It makes my heart bleed. When I see. Some wives complaining that their husband does not have time for them. I'm also a busy person. But when it comes to sitting down, discussing family matters, I don't joke with that. Some husbands, they don't even have time. Even when they have time, they will be on the phone. For two hours, three hours. The Lord is speaking to you. Make wrong right. Except if you are doing special program. In our church here, Monday is a free day for all the pastors. Because Sunday is our busiest day. If at all, if you have a spiritual assignment, it, it must be vigil. People of God, make wrong right. Make wrong right. Make wrong right. Your destiny is in your hand. Remember the prodigal son. In the book of Luke chapter 11, chapter 15, from verse 11 to 19. The scripture recorded that when the prodigal son came to himself, he realized his wrong deed. 
No pastor preached to him. No interference of anybody. But not really by himself. For himself, he corrected his mistake. As you are listening, as you are hearing this message, it's not too late to make your wrong right. Some married men masturbate. So married men masturbate. So married men steal from their wives' purse. And some married women are expert when it comes to stealing from their husband. I remember some times ago, about 15 years ago, there was one married man, a husband, anytime he's coming home, he will hide all his money, put it inside socks, now fold the socks, fold the socks, fold the socks, and put it in his shoe, add another socks to it. And you know women, women are not that wise, but very, very smart. The wife now pretended as if she's sleeping. So when the man came, the man walking, the man removed his shoe. The man removed his socks. And the man looked very well. The man looked very well. Look at the wife. Now count the money. Count the money. Folded the money. Put inside socks. And now put the socks inside one shoe. Add another socks to it. The wife that was pretending caught him that day. When the man, they remember our church. I'm talking of 17, 18 years ago. 17, 18 years ago. When the husband realized that his body started missing. Some men are falling. This husband changed his status. This husband, through life story, now made a hole in the bed side. True life story. The wife started monitoring, monitoring. The wife catch him. <laughs> Beloved, make the wrong right. Lack of money is not lack of sense. I knew I knew Or maybe I should tell you another one. This couple are living face by face you. They are using pit latrine. One day on low ibi shalanga. Shalanga. And this, or this husband side chick called. And you know when a man side chick called, the man will become restless. Yes or no? The man became restless. And the man rushed to the toilet. Shalanga no no. They are using shalanga there. So the man entered the toilet. The pit latrine. And the man was so attentive. The man now over had full step. He thought it was the wife that was trying to come and he dropped. In the process of trying to hide the phone, the phone fell inside the shalanga. <laughs> it was the man that called me. The man, the man. That come and say, Papa, I've, I've done wrong. I can go on and on. Only so, see what you see, and see what you see. Make wrong right. Oh, you want me to tell, tell you another one? I've shared this, this one time on the without the number. Ni I traveled to the prayer mountain on the okay. and I returned. And the person we went together dropped me at Maryland. I said, okay, no problem. Uh, I think I was waiting for Olo to carry me at uh, Maryland, Mr. Biggs. And I saw this man. This man didn't see me. He park and drop his side cheek. I was so lucky. When he dropped the side cheek, he drove off. 
You will thought the wife was there. And the wife now called me. Say, ah, uh, pastor. Pastor. My husband said you are going to mountain. I said, Ori okay. I said, mountain. Ori okay. Mountain. Immediately I had two plus two. I said, one. I damaged it for me. Yes, yes, yes. When the wife dropped, I now called the husband. Ah. Oh, God. I said, oh, God. He started laughing. Well, what, is what is making you laugh? Yeah, where are you? Why just okay. called me that we were ah, going to Monday? Me, I forgot to tell you. you. <laughs> and to, you see, if God wants to catch someone, <laughs> if God wants to catch, <laughs> may God not catch you. <laughs> ah. You are men too. May God not catch you. <laughs> I now said to you that what pay me most? <laughs> I'm standing at Mr. Biggs, Maryland. <laughs> Mr. Biggs, you dropped the side cheek. You didn't see me. And coincidentally, your wife called. At times, church member put pastor in trouble. Ah. I'm telling you my experience. One church member, I won't um, mention the person. Um, use my name to collect to be collecting money from someone abroad. For years. For years. Stop saying ah. Search your heart. For years. And I didn't know. Oh, Simon. For years. Another wife. I didn't know though the husband used to play game around. Okay, oh man, ta game kakiri. Aha. Used to play game, carry different handbag. Oh man, be a colocbo handbag. And the wife is looking for a way to revenge. Yeah, we want one no lati she be a correct. So the wife stopped. Having sex with the husband. Yeah, the Anytime the man touched the wife. Papa said I should fast I said, for 21 days. I didn't know. Oh, it continued like that. Oh, and for almost six months. And I didn't know. Jealous you. you know, men are very jealous. The man became jealous. I just know that anytime the man come to church, the man will frown his face. Me, I'm preaching. From the heart of the man, the man is cursing me. The man couldn't bear it any longer. After the service, Papa Moferi, I want to see you. I was laughing. The man refused to laugh. Ah, immediately I recomposed myself. Maybe they have misunderstanding. Me, you understand? I don't understand what is happening. What is happening, sir? What is happening, sir? Ah, for the past six months, I'm just fasting, fasting, fasting. just giving my wife me, me, also with me, 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 me. Hey, look, we are... Go and call your wife. Church members, how I wish you know what pastors go through. You never pray to be one. If you know past bitter experience. Different lies from church members. That's your word, Mojo. Some are catching fun with I it. The Lord is talking to you. Make you wrong right. Be like the prodigal son. Holy Spirit won't come. And help you. Jesus won't come. And help you. God will not come. And help you. It is your hundred percent responsibility. Make right. Wrong. When you do the right thing, the right blessing will come. Remember the prodigal son. He realized his mistake. Beloved, mistakes are correctable. I'm telling you the truth. This has been the reason why many people remain in the value of life. God bless you. This has been the reason why many people have been stagnated. You can't go far with your common sense. It's high time you call a spade a spade. Say the truth and let the devil be ashamed. You know yourself. You know your weakness. You know your shortfalls. Make 
many mothers. We know ourselves. Many in-laws. We know ourselves. Husbands in the house. You know yourself. Wives in the house. Sons and daughters. You know yourself. Make wrong right. Make up your mind. So this year 2024. I will get the best out of it. You can't actually get the best out of it until you correct your past mistakes. Shall we write this? Thing? Thank you, Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer. Say, Lord, I need mercy. Look upon me with your eyes of mercy. Open your mouth and talk to me. Lord, I need mercy. Let your mercy locate me. Let your mercy speak for me. In your mercy locate me. Lord, mercy over my mother. Mercy over my mother. Mercy over my mother. Lord, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer. Say, Lord, deliver me. To me, sile. From the spirit of pride and arrogance, open your mouth and pray. Lord, deliver me from the spirit of pride and arrogance. Lord, deliver me from the spirit of pride and arrogance. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. In Jesus' mighty name. Shout, O Lord, give me grace to make my wrong right. Open your mouth and talk to me. Lord, give me grace to make my wrong right. I need that grace, O Lord. Lord help me. Lord help me. Lord help me. Lord help me. Lord give me grace. To make my wrong right. Lord give me grace. To make my wrong right. In Jesus' mighty name. There are certain people here. And when you come and be. The Lord said, I should announce to you. This year, past disappointment, past failure, shall not repeat itself. You are always afraid when it remains small for things to happen. Suddenly, the thing will just turn somehow. It's like something you believe this thing you have started gathering together. But suddenly it will just scatter. Just say the spirit of the Lord. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This year, you will laugh. Oh, Larry. You will laugh. Oh, Larry. You will laugh. Oh, Larry. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, oh, Lord. Correct my mistake and change my mistake to testimony. Open your mouth and talk to me. Father, correct my mistake. Change my mistake to testimony. My father and my God, correct my mistake. Help me to correct my mistake. Lord, change my mistake to testimony. I know I've messed up. I know I've fucked up. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. In Jesus' mighty name. Pray this last prayer and say, Oh Lord, give me wisdom to avoid mistakes of life. Open your mouth and pray.
Lord, I need wisdom. To avoid mistakes of life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Close your eyes and stretch out your hands. There are about seven people here. You made a costly mistake that has caused you a major setback. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for that person. I pray for that seven person. Now, receive God's mercy. Out of these seven, five are male. Five are male. I pray for you. Any mistakes of life that has caused you go slowly. In the name of Jesus, let mercy settle it. Let mercy settle it. I prophesy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, throughout this year, there shall be no costly mistake. Of a truth, nobody is perfect, including we pastors. It is by his grace and mercy that we are not concerned. I prophesy, there's anybody that has made mistakes in the name of Jesus, receive the mercy of God. Ah! I don't know that person. Anytime you remember, you feel like shedding tears. You feel like shedding tears. The Lord is talking to you now. Weep no more. I have cancelled that mistake. 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 Hear me well. Among these several people, there is one man. In fact, you're supposed to die. Yo. Mm, you're supposed to die. You know yourself. You're supposed to die. You're supposed to die. Maybe I should tell you a story. Two guys, in fact, they are my friends. They are traveling abroad. Sit for one minute. They are traveling abroad. And they came to, they are traveling from Lagos State to I forgot whether London. And then being guys, I think they are just 22 years old. And then they made up their mind that since we are living in Nigeria, let us arrange babes. And a friend in Lagos arranged two ladies for them. Not knowing that one of these ladies one of the ladies has this how should I call it now? Local mentality. And deliberately, the condom this guy bought, this lady slightly turned it. So this guy met with her, and the lady conceived. Emma Wogmo. Look at all reason. parents in the house <laughs> teach your children so they travel to UK a month later this lady come. became pregnant how do we know that she deliberately did it unfortunately for, this, for these two guys they came from Lagos Island you understand what I mean I'm on Lagos Island Aha. So, in UK, they find themselves doing runs. Uh -huh. So, they were caught. Six months later, they threw them back to Nigeria. Six months pregnancy. This, my friend, nearly died. So, I, I meet you for one night. How on earth will you conceive? It was a trap. And this, my friend, men in the house learn from this. Maybe you have a child outside wedlock. There's no bastard child. 
Every child is a legitimate child. I called this my friend. Later on, when I got to know, I said to him, You are the one that have done this. Oh, there are three results here. And you have seen the results. So you have to take responsibility. I have said, never. So never. Never. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. And if you see this child, carbon copy. This is where I'm going. For years, I talked to my friend. He refused. And for years, this lady keep cursing this, my friend. He will not rip the food of his And I must confess to you, listing people of God, yeah. mistakes are correctable. If you are wise, it is stupidity. It is foolishness. It is madness for you to believe you are smarter than anybody. My friend refused. And there's nothing I could do. So I'm going to do this. And this lady keep cursing me. I've been using gegu fun. Things became hard for my friend. Eventually, she met a lady. She became born again. Don't think. <laughs> when it comes to God, don't try to outsmart God. Of a truth, he became born again. God being a merciful God. God show you mercy. Things speak. He had a very glorious wedding. I still call him. My friend, you are now rich. Collect, accept this child. Take care of him. No mistake, Moshe. Mistake, Moshe. Before God and man. At the end of the day, my friend died mysteriously. I now remember the cause from that lady. He will not rip the fruit of his labor. Mistakes of life causes go slowly. I'm not making him out. I don't want to go into the details. Shall we rise? Make wrong rights now. Make wrong rights. Maybe you have something you are hiding. There is no pastor without sin. If God is to mark iniquity, nobody can stand. You thought nobody knows about it. You thought nobody sees you. Nobody will beat you. Nobody will kill you. Make your wrong right. I love my friend. Handsome guy. Brilliant guy. I pity the wife. And I pity the children. I will be like a father. I will be like a father. I will be like a Maybe I should shock you. Some of our friends, they are trying to show mercy to the wife. They want to sleep with the wife. And me, I'll be prophet one mountain to the other. At times, she will come here. If she come here, whatever I have, I give. But anytime I remember, it makes my heart bleed. Because I'm confident. I did mean he accepted the child and do the necessary thing. The wife will accept the child. I'm sure he will be alive. This message is meant for your destiny. Search your heart. Your heart determine your height. Search your heart. You thought nobody sees you. God sees you. Lies may travel for donkey years. One day, truth will catch up. I am me standing before you preaching to you. If you are to say bastard, I am qualified to be a bastard. Because, roughly, roughly, 
I'm a product. I'm, I'm a child outside wedlock. I'm a child outside wedlock. But see me today. Make wrong right. Think about this message. Maybe it has been the reason why you have been struggling. Maybe it has been the reason why you have been struggling. No one knows. Anytime I, maybe I should tell you the way my, my friend died. Up to now, we couldn't find his corpse. We couldn't find his corpse. Up to now, extremely handsome guy. As of 20, 2007, he was using Krokomato Yi. Jaguar. Oh no, oh God, Jaguar. Two thousand and seven. Twenty oh seven. I tried. Oh, we you. He never listened to me. Think about the message. God bless you. Oh, no, no, Amen. Amen.